Hey everybody, uh, welcome to lesson number two in unit four. Today we're going to write inequalities. So this is actually the exact opposite of what we did in lesson number one. So uh, let's review real quick um, what an open circle and what a closed circle means. Um, open circle is when my signs are either greater than or less than. So anytime we see those two signs, we use an open circle to graph our solution. So the open circle simply means greater or less. Okay, and then we use uh, the closed circle if we have greater than or equal to or less than or equal to. Okay, so when you see a closed circle, that means the solution is included. And when it's an open circle, that means it's got to be either bigger or smaller than the given value. Okay, so uh, this is a really short video. I only have two slides remaining. So for this page here, I know the directions say work in a group, but you guys are just going to work with me. Um, so we're going to look at example A, and I notice a closed circle. Okay, so we'll start with a variable. So your condition, whatever it might be, I need students. Um, I need a certain amount of money, I need whatever it is the condition might be. So for that condition, if you notice, the arrow is going to the right. So going to the right, is that greater or less? That's greater. If I also look here, my circle is closed. So that's greater than or equal to, and what number are we on? Negative 2. So the way I read example A, is my condition, I'm going to call x, you can call it whatever letter you want, has to be greater because that, oops, sorry about that, because the arrow is going to the right um, and it's equal to because the circle is filled in and negative 2 because that's the number my circle is over. So why don't you guys take maybe uh, 20 seconds and try B, C, and D on your own. They're all going to start with x or whatever letter you choose, it doesn't have to be X. And uh, try to fill in the rest of these. When you're ready, I'll be going over the solutions right now. So I see an open circle here for number two. So that means that it's either going to be greater than or less than. Since my arrow goes to the right, that's greater. The circle is open, so it's not equal to. So my solutions have to be greater than negative 2. All right, in example 3, or C, I see a closed circle. Um, this time my arrow is going to the left. So that is less than or equal to, and my uh, circle is over negative 2. So my condition has to be less than or equal to negative 2. And for the last one, I see an open circle. I should change color here. I see an open circle, so that means greater or less. The arrow goes to the left, so as I go left, my number is getting smaller. So that means less than. All right, I'm not going to write equal to because the circle is open and the number is negative 2. So my condition must be smaller than negative 2. Okay, and the last page, I have two inequalities that are graphed. What you're going to do is um, you're going to write the inequality and then in words describe um, all the values that make x true. So for, we'll call this example E. For example E, here's my x, my condition. What about my condition? I see an open circle and I see an arrow to the right. So open means it's either greater than or less than. Okay, and then since my arrow is going to the right, it's going to be greater. And uh, my circle is over 12, so my x, my condition, is greater than 12. Okay, and now we're going to take a look at describing this. Um, so any value any value that is larger, or you can use the word greater, 
then 12 will make the inequality true. Three, one, two, five. Okay, so any value that is larger than 12. You notice I couldn't say equal to or greater because it's only greater than 12. All right, I am going to erase this. I can do, I'll call this um, example F. Um, so I have some more room on my screen here. So if you need this, pause now. Okay, so for example F, um, I'm going to start my condition X. So what about my condition? What are my limits? So I see a closed circle, so that either means less than or equal to or greater than or equal to. So I decide which one of these by looking at the arrow. So the arrow is going to the left. All right, left means less. So less than or equal to. So X is less than or equal to. And what's my value? My circle is over, so it's over negative 4. So what does that mean? It means all values for x um, must be negative 4 or smaller. Okay? So thanks for watching, guys. Bring this um, video packet with you tomorrow.